I wish I had your life. My life would be so much better. For reals? Take it, then I'd get yours. Deal! Can you just tell me a little bit about your character and kind of uh, what the swap is about? Yeah, so the swap is basically about um, these two kids, Jack Malloy and Ellie O'Brien, and they sort of uh, meet in the nurse's office, and they kind of have a little bickering back and forth about uh, why they think each other's lives are harder than the other. And um, then they are texting back and forth and uh, end up swapping bodies. Uh, and uh, my character, Jack Malloy, uh, he is um, very, very goal-oriented. He has a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Um, he has two older brothers who are on varsity, and him being a sophomore in high school, like he's really dying to make varsity for hockey. And then his dad is also the varsity coach, so that doesn't really help at all. Did you, do you actually know hockey, or did you have to learn that for this movie? I had no idea how to ice skate before the movie. Yeah, so I had to learn how to ice skate. I got like a two-week crash course on ice skating. Um, and then, you know, hockey kind of came after that. But yeah, I was very lucky to have a really awesome stunt double. My stunt double, Turley, was super good, and so I look good in the movie. What's it like to be a part of this DCOM franchise now, you know, to be a part of a Disney Channel original movie? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I've been asked that question, and it's actually really surreal for me because I grew up watching DCOMs with my brother. I mean, my camera would record, um, you know, Halloween Town and, like, Minutemen, you know, and all these other DCOMs that I love, you know. And it's really cool that, you know, kids that are growing up now are going to see DCOMs and then to them it's going to be like their favorite, you know, so I just think it's really cool. And you and Peyton obviously have to kind of switch characters in this movie. What did you do to like pick up her mannerisms? Like did, did you have to spend a lot of time together? What'd you do? Yeah, um, it was a lot of going out to dinners and just kind of talking to her a lot. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of just trying to look at her, how she talks and like her body posture, you know, she's very upright and elegant, you know, um, and mine is a little bit more of that guy, slouchy a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely a lot of just studying, which, I mean, it sounds kind of weird, but in a way it's kind of what we had to do. I, I was trying to sort of portray Peyton's version of Ellie, so it was not only just getting her mannerisms down, but watching how, he, how she was playing Ellie and then trying to embody that mixing all those characters together, like yeah. characters within characters. Yeah, characters within characters, yes. It was definitely acting inception. Did you learn anything about the opposite sex from playing this yeah, character? Um, I learned that guys talk very staccato, which means like very like da 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 da, and girls are a lot more like vibrava, you know, just really flowy in the way they talk. And that was something that um, I had to do, uh, was talk a little bit more flowy, and I raised my pitch just a little bit. But yeah, that's one thing I kind of learned. Was there anything else challenging for you when making this movie? I'd have to say the ice skating was definitely a little challenging just because when I had to like skate up to a mark and hockey stop there, um, I can only hockey stop going this way. If I hockey stopped going that way, I would like almost fall. So for some reason, I can only hockey stop going this way. So that was a little bit of a challenge. But other than that, it was pretty cool. Funny story though, uh, only I was pretty much the only actor that could actually ice skate. Um, my dad uh, could ice skate really well, Darren, in the movie, but all of the actors that were from Canada couldn't ice skate really well at all. You think in Canada? Yeah, which I thought was really was weird. Um, uh, Colton, who plays Owen, my best friend, he was he was like a super good hockey player, but his character never got on the ice once. So all the people who couldn't ice skate were forced to ice skate in the movie. The people who could didn't even get to ice skate. Do you have a favorite, like, maybe blooper, behind-the-scenes moment for making the movie? Yes. One of the funniest bloopers uh, that we had actually was because one of the cast members couldn't ice skate very well. Um, Jesse, who plays Stryker, one of my older brothers, um, he's supposed to skate up to his mark and deliver his line, like, guys, don't worry about uh, Porter, you know, it's going to be all good, you know. And he skates up, and he can't stop. He gets too much speed, and he, he can't stop, and he's just getting closer and closer to us until he's just like, guys, 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 and like, couldn't stop and just runs into me. And I'm like, what's up, dude? And that was just one of the funny bloopers. He, like, just couldn't stop and ended up, like, face planting into me. If you could, like, body swap with any movie or TV character, just kind of go into that world for a day, what movie character or TV character would it be? Um, a TV character? I would have to say uh, Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. I think that would be really cool to be that smart and just kind of in his own world like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. If you could swap this character into like another Disney movie or whatever, who, who would you like to see him interact with? Hmm. You know, I gotta say... Halloween Town. I love that movie. It's just a classic for me. Or The Little Vampire. That's a cute movie. 
Yeah, I mean, it's October, you know, you gotta, exactly. gotta go with it. What do you think people will take away from this movie? What message do you want them to walk away with? Um, I think a message that they're definitely gonna walk away with is um, just respect for other people um, and just how to be yourself, you know? That's what a lot of what this movie is. It's just respecting others and, you know, everybody has something going on in their life. Um, and I got a lot of respect for the other, other gender. I mean, there's so many other things that they deal with that I don't even think about. And then there's things that I deal with that you know girls don't think about but uh yeah i just think that's something that's really rings true in this movie is just be yourself and just express yourself how you are is there anything that might surprise fans from the making of this movie or like a easter egg in the movie or anything you guys added in a lot of the pictures actually from me when i was younger are like from old like soccer tournaments so and my hair was like super like blonde back then so it doesn't even look like me <laughs> Yeah, my hair was like white and then it turned brown. But it is you in the picture. But it is okay. me in the picture, just in case you get freaked out. And what's coming up next for you? Any other projects in the works? So, um, Kirby Bucket Season 3, uh, watch out for that. It's going to be crazy. It's a whole new level of Kirby Buckets. Is it going to be different from what we've seen before? Yes, very different. I don't know how much I can give away, but things are about to get warped. Any message for your fans out there? You guys rock. You are my rock.